Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch and welcome to another very special collector interview. We are in Dubai in a beautiful home of Bader underscore Belslach on Instagram. Bader, thank you so much for welcoming us in your beautiful home and showing us a few of your watches, <laughs> let's say. I was uh, shocked when I saw this, but uh, thank you for having us. You're welcome anytime. It's your, it's your second home. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So you are known on Instagram as, uh, I would say, the cufflink watch pen shots. Yeah, watch so, pen and cufflink. Watch pen and cufflink, <laughs> yeah. so that's important. So, yes, yeah. I agree. So that's why I also displayed a few cufflinks here. I definitely saw that you have many, many more <laughs> which are in this box. Also pens. How did you start with this idea of, let's say, matching, you know, watch, pen, cufflink? Uh, started like uh, the watch pen cufflink my, uh, from my father. My father used to, uh, I mean, still. He's always like, uh, you know, with the uh, Arabic Kandora style, yeah. with the cufflink and uh, pen. So uh, then, you know, we take the rhythm from the, 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 the great man we see every day. <laughs> so it uh, started with, uh, you know, like, you know, we wear different clothing and you want to be with the, as a person you see yeah. every day. So I started liking pens and cufflinks and it started growing, you know, uh, then for certain years, because uh, I, I, I work in the aviation industry, so mm -hmm. I, I'm ex-pilot and you, you cannot fly with Kandora, of course. Yeah. Uh, and I used to study in the States. <laughs> uh, and I wasn't wearing Kandora much. But uh, when I started like wearing uh, more and more, but I still used to have, but when I started wearing more and more the past years, um, uh, and being in management also, mm -hmm. so I started like uh, to have more cufflinks, more yeah. pen, to focus more on them. And some of the cufflinks we see here actually exactly match the watches. So we have a 5711 here in the box, yeah. plus you have the matching blue 5711, let's call them uh, cufflinks. Yeah, I like uh, to match the cufflinks, uh, even like I started with Cartier. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Cartier cufflinks, I love Cartier pants, uh, and I tell you, I do really good search. Like, for the JLC Nantiam, yeah. the watch I just recently yeah, beautiful, got. Beautiful, huh? Yeah. And uh, for the combination, rose gold, and you have here the, 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 the moon face mm -hmm. blue. I was looking for the cufflink, which is matches it like, not 100%, but yeah. at least, you know. As it, much as possible. Exactly, huh? it does something. But these watches came out, didn't it? Uh, I'm first, More or less. first who receive, which yeah. is I know. <laughs> and uh, the the moment I saw it, I wanted. All, I used to have like two JLCs. Yeah. But I say I want something really special yes. from JLC. So I have a duometer on mind. Mm -hmm. But when I I love the reversos because I used to play polo as well. Ah, okay. Yeah. So um, so it came the inspiration of uh, Dolfo Campiasso. Of, of uh, I bought my first home time squadra. Uh, then I said, you know, I want the 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 reverso. Yeah. Yeah. So this when it, this one came and I was like this year, and I was like totally, <laughs> I lost it and I said jumping over on the other side. So That's I, it. I want it so bad. And you have a uh, liking for jump hour watches, correct? Yeah, I love uh, jumping hour as uh, the IWC. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing happened when I yeah. saw this. Pff, just run. Uh, Paul Weber. And actually, believe it or not, I sold the same watch for five friends. I said to the boutique. Uh, five friends might be interested yeah. and everyone just you know go put deposit <laughs> to put deposit to work like this and also a beautiful vacheron which is a more a vintage almost piece right vacheron my grandfather used to be a man of vacheron yeah. um, uh, as how i started with watches and uh, i have i loved always the 1921 and believe it or not mm, yes uh, this watch an iconic watch uh, when it was, I used to see it in, you know, old days in magazine. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> when this one came, uh, was, uh, I hold myself and I kept holding myself and I see, and you, you know, we wear steel watches only, we yes. avoid gold. Yeah. So, I tell you, Vacheron make me wear gold. <laughs> and I couldn't, I reach a point, which is, I said, nice. you know, I, I, that's it. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear gold watches. Yeah. I don't care. But this is an iconic piece the 1921 American. Also the, the K shape is beautiful, yeah. very unique. You don't see this much around. With a nice mechanical hand-wound movement on the back, even still with the sticker. 
I see with your watches, the condition is amazing. So I'm sure you're one of those guys who really takes care of the watches. And I change twice a day. Huh? Yeah, okay. One for work and one for <laughs> daytime. Just to keep them fresh, huh? Yeah. Beautiful. And you're also a fan of, uh, you, you, you're not the typical collector who buys round watches only. I see you have also an affinity for different shapes. Uh, yeah, I like uh, Curvex uh, Tonneau. I start to like asymmetric. Mm -hmm. The more we see, you know, collectors on in Instagram, like example, Ronnie. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he's the king of asymmetric. Yes, in exactly. Cases. Uh, actually, we met just recently, two weeks ago in, in, in Paris, and uh, we discuss a lot. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and he also liked the style of mm -hmm. watches I like. Yes. Um, but uh, I like the w weird shape shapes of watches. Like you know, we see around, around. It's, it's g getting normal. Mm -hmm. uh, you see Rolex, you see AP, you see Peric. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's starting now. People more and more, and they know about independent like FP John, Laurent Ferre, and etc. Yeah. But I like to see something not to be different, but buy something I like. The complication I yes. need and the stuff I like. Yeah. So that's what I'm after. And you have a very special FP John there. When I tried it, it weighs like nothing. This watch... <laughs> the, the pillow weighs more probably than the watch. I, I tell you what, four years I'm looking for for this watch. Yeah. I used to see in Corona 24 listed over there, and it's a UK one, Poland one, and I used to send guys. Yeah. And oh, the guy is not replying in the store yeah, or whatever. Yeah, just an empty So, ad. walking my office one day, I know someone, <laughs> he knows. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I said, you know, I try everywhere around, yeah. and uh, I didn't contact this guy. Uh, so I sent them photo of the titanium mm -hmm. and the aluminium. Yeah. And in my heart, I was saying, you know, of course he's gonna tell me no aluminium. Yes. He replied immediately, and it was strange. This guy will never reply like early morning yeah. this time. I go very early to the office, so he's like, I have, I don't have the titanium, but I have two of aluminium. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay, when like, you're coming in Dubai. Can I buy both? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's like, uh, I'll be in Dubai. Uh, it was the last uh, watch week. Yeah. 19, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, I'll be in Dubai. I'll get it. I can get it with you uh, in the watch week. I'm like, okay, let's do it. Uh, full set, full set. Deal's done. Perfect. It yeah. weighs nothing. And the movement is actually a very highly complicated movement. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. I mean, uh, to buy an FP John, uh, I started with Chronometer Blue. Yeah, beautiful dial, by the way. Then I had Elegant, but it's mm -hmm. with my brother. Yeah. Uh, then I bought the Platinum uh, Rothanium Limited 99. Which is today a very sought after piece, right? Yeah. I mean, all of them are, but. Yeah, they come set of five, this one of the yeah. set. And. Uh, this one, this was the last. Uh, you know, if you will buy something different from FP John, I think it's just about the, the, the movement. Mm -hmm. So here yeah. you have the Santigraf at the top. Here you have exactly, the, yeah. the, the Power Reserve Octalon. Uh, here you have date and time, chronometer blue, mm -hmm. beautiful. Uh, you don't need anything more. Yeah. Uh, or maybe if yeah. he does if you're a fan of perpetual or annual calendar. Exactly, or a mini repeater. Yeah, I, I love the Vagabondage, mm -hmm. uh, but... Yeah, it would suit in the collection for sure. Yeah, jumping. Uh, but uh, maybe I, I love the Vagabondage 3. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Beautiful. if we get a chance one day, why not? <laughs> yeah. I, hope, I, hope, I hope you do. There is a watch I was after, like example, if I will say Vagabondage, I was after this one for like maybe yeah. six years. Yes. For, for that condition. Uh, it's, it's in pristine condition, huh? Yeah, it's, uh, I got this watch from dealer in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a jumping, our beautiful uh, limited edition Vacheron. And they come on rose gold, uh, white gold, and yellow gold, and rose gold salmon dial, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So... Uh, oh. And it's not just the front that is beautiful, even the movement. This yes. has an open case pack. Yeah, with open skeleton. Skeletonized. Uh, Engraved Rotor. Rotor, huh? Yeah. Oh. This is a beauty, man. Really, congrats to uh, to find it. And again, pristine condition. Looks yeah, like new. Yeah, it's the condition. <laughs> like, see, the edges are yeah. and not, Nothing. Never, not untouched. polished, untouched. <laughs> so the next one I'm searching for, Mercator. Mercator, huh? Yeah, yeah. So if anybody has a Mercator, just, you know, 
DM him. Yeah, yellow gold. So sa save him some time. <laughs> yellow gold. Searching for it. Yeah. You have also a few very cool Patek pieces here. Nautilus, Aquanaut. Yeah, and also some this rather was, unusual ones. Yeah, this was here. the days from you buy off display. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I mean, this one. Uh, okay, uh, I contacted Siddiqui uh, family and uh, was available. Mm -hmm. And then after a month, and believe it or not, I bought Patek uh, before any Rolex. Okay. And uh, I didn't own any Rolex for quite time. You just went straight to Patek. <laughs> I had the AP, uh, yeah. Offshore Roy Lock, uh, and I bought it in 2004. Mm -hmm. And uh, it w uh, the rubber one, Roy Lock, you know, it yep. came big. Uh, then I I, uh, I bought a Patek Nautilus. I just, again, from the cover, you know, yeah. I, I said I wanted the Patek. So I bought the Nautilus Blue Dial. Then uh, after a month, I bought a Aquanaut by a mistake because the, the, the 5711 and 5, uh, 5167, they have the same movement. Yeah, it's just uh, 50 mm uh, yeah. different between the cases. So w then I started to build my collection. Uh, I mean, slowly, slowly. Then I said, you know what? If I love a brand, I'm gonna buy sport, dress, mm. complication. Yeah. But if I love it more, I will buy one more watch. There is an <laughs> equation. But if you see, like, example, plain, complication, complication, yes. or sport. Yes, very. And again, in Vashon, the same. Mm. Uh, yeah. uh, and also, uh, I'm getting the new overseas, uh, mm -hmm. I believe so soon. Okay. So that's the sport in Vashon. Yes. Um, again, if you see IWC, like, you know, maybe you can call this a complication, and uh, this is a sport, uh, and I'm looking for one more, which is dress. Uh, same thing with Patek. AP, I have the Millenari, mm -hmm. uh, and they have the Ultra Thin. Uh, Lange, unfortunate. I love the Zeit work, but mm. uh, you know the prices of Zeit work change yeah. and change and change. Just skyrocketed, yeah. Yeah, and uh, plus retail is changing and I as bought, well. I bought, I bought the uh, the copper blue. Yeah. Uh, because it looks exactly yes. like the it's SP. It's the same category. Yeah. It's a. Si I tell you, it's not the same category. It's literally the same watch. <laughs> but a lot of people they're missing this piece. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I tell everyone, just try it, go try yeah. it. Because you feel like th th 39 mm. For sure. 39.5. Because you seven. work in aviation, this was a no brainer to get. What's the story behind this watch? Yeah. This Patek? I was on. Uh, my mom used to live in Germany for approximately four years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like uh, twice a month, very often, for a weekend to visit her. So. Um, on my birthday, I was in Germany and uh, walking to a uh, retailer and uh, I say, you know, I want to buy my birthday watch. So every every birthday, I buy myself a watch. <laughs> and uh, the retailer is like, uh, uh, okay, show me a few Pateks, whatever, what's available. So uh, I put five, nine, six euro. I'm not good with references. Yeah. Uh, similar chronograph and uh, so I said, which one? So it was small different. Yeah. So I said, you know what? It's my 40th birthday. I'm, uh, all my career never have been changed in aviation as an ex-pilot air traffic controller mm. and uh, uh, in charge of airspace. And uh, I said, you know what? And also I have this thing, the, 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 the little bit of patek thing. Yes. So I say, you know, it was my 40 years uh, 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 birthday gift to myself. Yeah. And uh, it's a Patek, you know, That's perfect watchmaking gift. and uh, pilot. You yeah. Know? No, for and, sure. uh, you know, sadly, uh, you see people more and more and more, they want Nautilus only. Yeah. So yeah. I think. Or, I or think, the Royal Oak. That's uh, the yeah, or Royal Oak or uh, now being mm -hmm. the hype and fashion overseas, the overseas. Yeah, yeah. And it makes me so sad, you know, because uh, yeah. there's a lot of beautiful watches in, on these brands, which for is sure. you can pick. Yeah. And, um, and these are not like trading much over retail, right, nowadays, or are they? Uh, yeah, I have, no, I'm not really tracking the market strongly, yeah. but, you know, in these pieces, but, yeah. The uh, same as the regulator, 5235G. Yeah. Uh, and actually, the, the story behind this is taken from uh, a clock, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, uh, so today it's a, it's a wristwatch, micro rotor regulator, is yeah. that, I yeah. think? Yeah, oh, it's beautiful. It's, a, it's only micro rotor regulator, if I'm not wrong. Say beautiful yeah, brush style, 
they came with a rose gold virgin mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, this came i think i believe uh, 214 I and they stopped so production that, yeah. they stopped production for a year then they they, they did the production again oh, beautiful yeah. piece yeah and but then you have a amongst all these watches you have a very special chapek yeah i know uh chapek i would say seven years ago mm -hmm. And One of the uh, early adopters, huh? <laughs> I think. Yeah. In so, the modern tropic era. Yeah, yeah. Yours. And, and <laughs> I, I remember uh, it was Arab jewelry. I visit him and he's like, you know, he was at the entrance. And he's like, uh, come, come. Um, uh, you most welcome to see my watches. So he showed me similar to this watch, mm -hmm. the sporty one, a uh, black case. And I said, you know what? And he told me the story behind the watch and this, that. I really like the gentleman, you know, and then we exchange numbers. We greet each other once and often. Yeah. And uh, this year I contact him and I said, you know, the, I, I start looking into the and, and looking into, into the market. What's mm -hmm. the hype? What's this? What that? I said, I'm always, I want to be different. So call the guy and I said, uh, you remember me? He's like, yeah, uh, I still have your number. And uh, mm -hmm. I said, you know, I'm thinking of something different. He's like, what? I said, I really love your watch. And uh, I, w I never have an, an enamel dial. Yeah. So let's do a unique piece in an enamel dial. You're open for that? He's like, yes. And I said, I want to do a, a full Arabic watch. Yeah. Uh, and this is my last. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an Arabic watch. <laughs> uh, because I always think this is the best of Arabic watches. Yeah, this is a big the, boy. Uh, <laughs> this is the, the, the best of Arabic watches. So he yeah. was like, you know, we have good conversation, and the, the, uh, he, he took my ideas, note my ideas, and, uh, and uh, he sent me the drawings, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, we went very fast. And uh, here it is, a lovely piece, and we're working in. Uh, Hopefully something um, <laughs> soon. Something, something special. Yeah, something, something special, special soon, is going to yeah. come to the yeah. to the IG page. Yeah. Maybe early next year. We'll see. Yeah. Mm, yeah. 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 Gorgeous. And this is the first Arabic numeral chapek, basically, with an enamel dial, probably. Yeah, they did one for uh, Arab watch guide, I think. Yeah. That was a beautiful piece. Yes. Uh, but an enamel. This is the first. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, uh, the. the and it has, it has very something special. If you see below Chepek and Geneva, which is written yeah. by Arabic, and Swiss made is written I by Arabic. I see it from this angle. Yeah, and <laughs> it's, uh, it has a secret signature, which yeah. is you can do in the enamel dials. Yeah. And uh, he told me, what do you want? You want date of birth? You want to what if you, you want to put some message? Yeah. I said, you know, let's do this. Let's put the date of the birth of the dial. Yeah, nice. So uh, it has a date of the birth of the dial. So Maybe in the future you don't need to archive it or something, yeah. you know, it's on the dial. <laughs> it's easy to find out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a very beautiful piece. Huh? I like the I like the appeal of Chapek watches because they're so different. And again, slowly people are starting to appreciate them. And I think with these numerals, I'm a big fan of these numerals and also like... Um, Actually, if you see the font and the size of the font, yeah. uh, done very, very good. I'm very yeah. picky with these things. Yeah, yeah. And even we have to shift the the, the 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 days mm -hmm. from right to left mm. to at least to give the perfect size yeah, yeah very cool and the movement's nice as well huh? yeah With these watches yeah and uh, piece manual unique. wind piece unique you know um Grand uh, and ammo. white dial uh, i don't want anything blue actually for me blue yeah He's like, you don't want blue or green or blue numerous green and yeah. like you know what I'm fed up. Like, yeah, blue. let's keep it plain. Yeah, let's let's do uh, plain. <laughs> I mean, as plain as we can call this. <laughs> yeah. So then we go to let's say this box here, which has also a lot of wild cards and special pieces. But something that let's say really you know s sticks out of this box is this watch here. Yeah, this watch uh, is a gift from a friend. Yeah. A very dear friend of mine. Uh, and uh, I was talking to him when I started my collection. I said, I want something Arabic, Arabic, yeah. Arabic. He's like, I have something Arabic. <laughs> yeah, let me have a look. He's a big collector as well. And, uh, and we're supposed to travel together yeah. to Vegas. So uh, before we travel, like a week, he's like, come to my car. Uh, I have something for you. 
So he pulled up this watch. It's like, see if this if this is nice. Yeah. When I saw it, I said, oh my God, you know, it's <laughs> a Genta, an Arabic, and yeah, I'm okay. a dial. Of course it's nice. <laughs> so I felt like, you know, it's, yeah. it's a big favor thing, you know, and he didn't ask anything back. So I have a Gerard Genta, a rubber, yeah. uh, Arena Retro by Retro, mm-hmm. jump, uh, jumping hour, jumping date. So I said, you know what, next day I gave him that watch for an exchange. Yeah. I said, at least accept something yeah, yeah, yeah. because you gave me this one. And I love Janta watches, I love jumping out. So I used to always have something around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see there's a silver lining uh, uh, yeah. amongst all of these boxes, almost gorgeous. So, yeah. And there's a few also Arabic numeral pieces here as well. A Tiffany & Co. Yeah. I never saw before. <laughs> this is uh, out of the search, <laughs> it pops up. There's the Mont Blanc World Timer. Yeah, this has came before uh, for the UNICEF yep. year, years back. Yeah, I met actually in the event of uh, Mont Blanc. They did quite a small event in Dubai, and uh, Jerome Lombard when he was in yep. Mont Blanc. Yeah, so uh, we were together, and uh, uh, the famous Ping Dubai, John Gallo, mm. he introduced me to him that day, and uh, he's like, uh, you know. The guy have a lot of ideas and mm. this, that, you know. So he's like, he, he said, how you like our watches? I said, I like the pants, I like the cufflinks. I said, you know what? Why don't you be the first uh, mm. to do an Arabic war time? It never had been done. Uh, and you can do it different <laughs> language. So it happens, you know, after like <laughs> some time, they did the Arabic yeah, and uh, yeah. they did the Chinese. But I didn't bother. it. Uh, I always wanted to take the watch from my uncle. Yeah. So one day he came, he's like, you know, you have it. I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, <keep> <laughs> I'll give you something back. So it's like, okay, you have it. <laughs> Beautiful. And you also um, have a very good Rolex collection, I would say. What's your, what do you like about Rolex watches? I mean, this is for me, my personal one, my, my personal favorite yeah. watch. It's not my personal <laughs> watch, unfortunately. Um, but what's your, what, what do you like about Rolex, for example? I hated Rolex before. Yeah. And I hated Daytona. Because you saw it so many times, or? Uh, and used to be also Daytona black and white dial in the old days, yeah. when it came out. And I used to sometimes, I say, if I will buy a Rolex, I'll buy a Daytona. Mm-hmm. But I end up now with three Daytonas. <laughs> <laughs> or not more. Just, not just any uh, normal ones. Or more, a few ones are <laughs> the family wearing, my mom. And, and, uh, and, and I said, you know what, uh, Rolex have good history, yeah. uh, great movements. So if you see, a lot of people, if they will have the Pepsi, they will have the Batman. Yeah. Uh, I started to do the same thing. I have the Batman, <laughs> but I didn't show it. Uh, but why you, uh, I always say, why you need to watch the same movement? Yeah. Just because of the color. Yeah. So if you see, uh, you have, I have the GMT, I have the yeah. plane, I have the plane no date. Yeah. Uh, I have the Sky Dollar, which is amazing complication. Mm-hmm. Huh, yes, that watch. very cool. Watch. Then the Daytona, I get a chance to have the full gold with green, which mm-hmm. is I love, and uh, the the Panda, yeah. and the something which is oh, I was very special, the MOP. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I had a feeling for that watch. I said, you know what, I want uh, something I wear every day, yeah. rubber. Uh, then I saw that Daytona and said, you know, I have a feeling that watch will get discontinued. I don't mm-hmm. know why. So. It get discontinued. <laughs> so my plan it was just only to wear it with rubber. Remove the bracelet, yeah. wear it with, what, uh, with rubber. And yeah. it looks very cool. Oh, it's by comfortable the way. as well, for sure. Yeah. And I have one with Tiffany yeah. stamp. This, this is, a, is a special piece. Huh? Yeah. Again, something I never saw. I like the bracelet you put it on. It looks very comfortable for this sweater, for sure. Yeah. What's the story behind this watch? I, uh, uh, again, eBay. Ebay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the good old, good old times. Eh? Uh, yeah, good old times in eBay. Uh, <laughs> they just Tiffany uh, call. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, how much you pay for? It uh, looks like new as well. Uh, <laughs> I paid maybe one t- eighteen hundred USD. A lot of money. <laughs> Back in days, huh? <laughs> but the good thing is, not fitted dial watch. Yeah. And with full bracelet, but of course no papers. Yeah. And uh, but the condition. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, the condition <laughs> looks like new. <laughs> uh, uh, when you, I remember before, when you put Tiffany, it comes a lot. Yes, you know. So, uh, yeah, yeah. so, never so know yeah. What's so correct, I said, though. let me purchase, and I was, uh, you know, I have that fear. Mm. The data, uh, the, the dial is replaced. Yeah, you know, Somebody and vintage, made it. which is, 
I love vintage. There's yeah. nothing wrong about it. But you have to be, you have to know vintage. Yes. You know. I so want, yeah. uh, it, it, it needs the experiences, need the, exp uh, the, 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 the passion also for mm -hmm. the vintage. But in, it needs a, really the right person who review and yeah. reads. True. And unfortunately, we don't have time these days. You know. True. Yeah. No, but this is a beautiful example. You also are a fan of Cartier, as we as we clearly see. Just recently, and yeah. And you uh, bought not one must Cartier, but you said, let me get the whole thing. <laughs> uh, so I won the three C's. Yes. As this year, I told them. So I said, what, the three C's better? I said, Cartier started with C, but I want the three C's with yeah. Cartier. They said, what? I said, I want the Sentry, and I, uh, which is I have. I want the Cloche, which is I get. And uh, there's another watch with C, yeah. which is, you know, <laughs> I want to see. Yeah. <laughs> which is the crash. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's, a, that's in process uh, also. And uh, I uh, also uh, get a chance to do a unique piece with them. Mm -hmm. um, it's coming, uh, two pieces. Yeah. Uh, I hope so by beginning of next year. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I, I, I start to love more and more Cartier with yeah. watches they do recently. Uh, the, the, the tribute they do, they bring mm -hmm. all the back, yes. all, uh, the old cases, all the, the old watches, cases, all so. the complicated cases, which is I love. And their stuff we saw in the books and their stuff maybe we didn't see in the books. Yes. So um, I, I uh, and, and these like the colors one I bought for my daughter, but yeah. I started to wear them because they're one shot collection. Yeah, and uh, plus you can match them perfectly yeah. with the cufflinks. And and I tell you, if you see the 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 cloche, how small it is. Yeah, you know. But I don't care. I, yeah. I, I wear it, even if you if you see like you know, mm -hmm. because for us as a culture wise, or I don't know, maybe in Europe before in all days, men used to wear like this watches. Yeah, but and here, this used to be a normal sized watch. Yeah, yeah, but here nowadays, if you see it, oh, he's wearing a ladies' watch yeah, or something. Yeah. Yeah. But for me, I don't care. Well, it I have matter. a good, good matching pan, cuffling. I enjoy it. You know. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, exactly. It, it goes very nice. You know, under the shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> for sure. But I'm not surprised that you like Cartier and you want to collect the three C's because your collection actually started yeah. with this piece here. Yeah. What's the story behind this watch? The, this your watch. first one. It's my first watch. First yeah. watch, yeah. And, and it's uh, a Cartier. Yeah, Cartier. I have a story with this watch, very special. Uh, I was in fourth grade, uh, graduated with good marks, and um, my aunt and I have a little bit of cash saved. Yeah. And uh, my aunt told me I was walking in the souk all days. It wasn't like Cartier. It was like you know multi brand yeah. retail or yeah. whatever. And I remember they used to have YSL watches and uh, Christian Dior, yeah. Christian Bernard, <laughs> Cartier. The good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I bought a YSL watch, which is I want. Yeah, it's a Yves Saint Laurent. Right? Yves Saint Laurent, yeah. yeah. A gold case, white dial. And I wanted that watch. It was for, uh, by Durham, 2700 like yeah. maybe $800. Yes. I bought the watch, come back home, very excited. My mom see the watch and she's like, Oh, what this ugly watch you bought, you know? <laughs> I'm like, you know, I like it. What's wrong with it? You know, she's like, no, no, no. You spent 2700 for this watch. So we went to, again, back to the store next day. Uh, yeah. So what nice, what to look, you know? Okay, she, she, she's like, you like the Cartier, you know? I'm like, yeah, it looks good, you know? So again, how much? It's like, I remember 4,700 dirhams. It's like, you know, 1,000, let's say 300 US. Yeah. So, okay. I bought the watch, everything. She uh, topped up money and, and we get the watch. So I collect cash again. I bought that of Saint Laurent. <laughs> <laughs> so you went back? I went back. Exchanged the watch for cash <laughs> and bought the iPhone. No, uh, yeah, I, I, collect, <laughs> yeah, I collect my own cash again and I bought yeah. that of Saint Laurent. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and you, you know, will do the same today in a heartbeat, right? <laughs> yeah. And this is stays. Um, and and uh, was serviced maybe once, yeah. and I said, you know what, I was planning to take a service this year, mm -hmm. and I said, you know, I'll keep it for my daughter. So gonna course, be her first watch as, as well, you know. Of course, the first watch I always say you should keep it if yeah. you can. But you know, it's something about Cartier, you know, the tanks, how they stay, they yeah. don't age, you know. That's timeless. Yeah, it's a timeless design. You can yeah. also see yeah. it's uh, if you compare to the Must Cartiers today. 
it's just the same shape basically. It's yeah, really yeah, a yeah, timeless yeah. design. And you also have a uh, appreciation for timeless designs and also special things when it comes to your, your cars, correct? Yeah, yeah. I, I've mm. seen a few of your stories. <laughs> You're also a car guy. Uh, not what's really. Your, what's your favorite one? Uh, in terms of, sp I, I never own a 4x4 in my life. Okay. Uh, and uh, even four doors, maybe few, but it's not like my my car. Yeah. I uh, have a few sport cars. Uh, I have a AMG GTC now, mm -hmm. and I have this passion for American muscle. A bit, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, as living in the states and having uh, you know Chevys and yeah. you know in the states all around. Yeah. All around. So I I used to own Dodge Viper here, mm. one of the first before. It's one of my favorite cars, by the uh, way. Uh, and uh, Corvettes and yeah. all this stuff. I, I had a Porsche, it was a 911 Turbo, it's a Joy Drive car. But when I saw the uh, GTC, mm. I took it for test drive. I said, yeah, this is the thing I want. Yeah. Then uh, I have a custom made uh, truck, yeah. Chevy SSR. Which is very cool. Yeah. <laughs> very cool uh, car. I have a Plymouth Prowler. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it used to be my dream car. Yeah. I used to buy like more expensive car and I said, this is my dream car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to bring one day one from US, yeah. whatever, which has happened now. I have it from almost like four years. Yeah. You know? so, yeah. And this, that car has a beautiful car, similar to the, uh, maybe it depends on the light of the copper blue of the Lime Manzana yeah. or the Paul Weber. So, Bader, tell me what, what's uh, you know with somebody who has watches like these, and we know now the crash is something we really desire. What is a watch or maybe watches that you're hunting for, or like do you have a Grail piece maybe, or do you don't believe in the concept? I stop. I stopped from the past two years to buy. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to buy only one piece on my birthday, or maybe extra piece, like three pieces. Yeah. Even. But what I saw this year, like out. Uh, example uh, from Cartier and from uh, brands like uh, Under Richmond, yeah. like uh, the Nonatiam and a uh, few Vachons, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, even IWC, you know, uh, when they came with this pilot, you know, uh, yeah. I love it. Uh, especially this uh, two pute piece as well, uh, the Paul Weber as well. Um, so I start again to look uh, and buy. Uh, but I usually uh, do my list. Yeah. Uh, you know, and doing your list, sometimes either you follow your list, yeah. or anything happens, you cannot you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, continue following your list. Like example, I said I want to complete you, uh, look, look into Vachon's more. Yeah. And uh, after the uh, getting the Celetaro, I have in 1972, 1921, mm. I said I want to get the, the regulator example, yeah. uh, dual time regulator they have. That used to be get released at the past. I want to get the shutter. Mm. I want to get the marketer. This is a list. I don't have any brigade. Yeah. Uh, but which brigade I like? I like the classical, mm. the enamel one. I like, uh, example, old brigade, the anniversary pieces, the regulator, yeah. and the jumping hour as well. Yes. Again, oh, that's but nice. they used to be 35.5 mm. Uh, yeah, I'm not correct watches. about the yeah, size. Yeah. But you know, I like them. But if you see, for me, if I see what what what, what brigade they're doing today. Yeah. Uh, I like maybe the letter edition, you know, mm -hmm. which is a skeleton and uh, I'm yeah. not a fan of much of skeleton watches. Maybe you don't see I have a skeleton watch. I appreciate the work uh, and the dial of the watch more. Beautiful. Maybe this is like a bit skeleton and yeah. the chronograph. On the sub dials. On the sub dials, yeah. But uh, yeah, and the independent, I bought two. I have a H Moser limited of 20 piece, yeah. the concept funky blue. And I have the Laurent Ferret, which yeah. is, you told me previously you like. Purely, purely, yeah, yeah. with the baby blue dial and a gorgeous movement on the back. Yeah, but I, I have a lot of blues, yeah. as you can yeah. see. <laughs> so at the time, I'm not going blue. That's it, uh, you stop <laughs> But maybe it. for one piece. <laughs> uh, or uh, an extraordinary yes. piece, if it's something like, wow, you know, yeah. and doesn't it, come... It, it catches your eye. Yeah. Actually, the new Chapek blue, uh, you see it in the fair just yeah, now. Yeah. And, uh, that was beautiful. Uh, it, it's... Uh, wasn't that subtle blue and wasn't yeah. that flashy blue, you know? It was something new. And even the, the, the Salomon dial they did is amazing. Yes, I agree. Chop is doing some great stuff. Yeah. And I can't wait to see uh, maybe your next edition with Chopek, which I yeah. m might have seen or not. 
uh, <laughs> also with Cartier. <laughs> okay. Cartier, uh, yeah. So next year we're going to do a part uh, two or like an upgrade, uh, update to the collection <laughs> to see what came in now. <laughs> Actually this year what happened, you know, I have everything paid for, paid for and I was just sitting tight and waiting for the pieces and I'm like, okay, paid for <laughs> when they're coming. Yeah. And you know, this delay due to COVID and uh, etc. Yeah. And uh, due to uh, also the, the, the solo production and all the stuff. Uh, yeah, going back into Rolexes, uh, uh, I start to like more the design. Mm -hmm. And some people, they appreciate it as always as investment. Yeah. But for myself, uh, if you tell me this piece, if you buy it now, is an uh, opportunity mm -hmm. and it's going to worth more later, I don't care if I don't like it. Yeah. I have to feel for the piece. This is the most important for me. Yeah. For me. Like, when I was looking for this, nobody was looking for it. Uh, and I had a feeling, mm -hmm. you know, it's not a go I had a feeling that the, to, tomorrow the price will be X, Y, Z. But uh, I had a feeling um, for the piece itself. And everyone has a style of collecting. I, I used to know a guy, uh, a friend also. Uh, he he like only turbulence. Yeah. I, I used to know a guy, he only collect Petex, and still he collect Petex. Uh, so everyone have a style of collecting. Of course. Uh, and always I say to everyone I, I meet, when he tells you, oh, why you buy this watch, you should buy something. Uh, instead of buying this one, you can invest uh, the money somewhere else uh, or uh, whatever, you know, mm. put it in a better watch, better, better yeah. brand. I say I buy what I like, you know. Yeah. I don't care. But unfortunately, what what I buy, it goes, it goes up. <laughs> it goes yeah, up, which isn't know? a bad thing. It, it, it balances out the collection a bit. I have a friend. He tells me, you know, whatever you buy, buy me with you. And I tell him I don't want to take that responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. Well, Bader, thank you so much for welcoming us in your beautiful home, showing us this many watches. I can't wait to see what's next on your Instagram page. I am waiting for that top-down shot with the cuffing and the pen. I hope you receive all the watches you're waiting for yeah. as quick as possible, <laughs> so we can also see them and uh, admire them ourselves as well. Guys, if you like the video, share it with somebody who might like these watches. I'm sure you'll find the guy. Bader, thank you so much. Thank you. All the best, and I hope to see you soon. Hopefully.